what's going on YouTube it's your man Black Sage 21 and I know it has been such a long time since you've heard from me I started getting messages asking where I've been and what's going on with me so I figured it's about time that I go ahead and get a video out for you guys um, where have I been I haven't been anywhere I've been playing Call of Duty a lot you guys have probably seen me online I know a lot of you guys send me invites and if I don't accept them it's more than likely because I'm either in a party already or because I'm uh, not in the mood to play but uh, the reason I haven't been in the mood to play or wasn't in the mood to play is just because uh, I was trying to really get a good idea of you know how to kind of master this game and I, I, I usually have the best chance of doing that when I play by myself so um, don't take it personally now that I've gotten a lot more familiar with the game and you know I'm more comfortable with everything I'll play with you guys a lot more uh, but I just wanted to let you know I haven't gone anywhere um, I have been working a lot of overtime but other than that I have been playing the game and I have a ton of information for you guys I'll give you some of it in this video but um, I, I would like to start up my Ask Sage series back up so if you guys have some questions uh, leave it in the comment section anything that you're you know dealing with as far as you know issues not not stuff that I can't really help you with like as far as the, the lag and stuff like that I can't really do anything for you as far as lag but um, I haven't really been experiencing much lag at all they've from from what I can tell they fixed most of if not all of the the lag compensation issues so if you guys are still having issues it might just be your your, your connection so as you can see we're playing on hijacked and hijacked in my opinion is like the new nuke town I mean I know they have a nuke town a new nuke town but what I mean by that is it's, it's that map that everybody seems to love to play and uh, it always gets picked twice it always gets voted twice so that's the reason I call it that anyway it's a very small map which makes it extremely fast pace and uh, I know a lot of the snipers have probably been you know feeling left out but I've been getting sniped quite a bit so there's a I feel like there's a place for everybody um, but yeah the snipers uh, it may not be a biggest place for you guys but this is definitely like a rusher's map and we're gonna talk more about the map here in a second but I'm just gonna go over my class and let you guys know what I'm working with um, this is the PDW I believe that's what it's called yeah PDW personal defense weapon 57 uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't. You know, I don't care. I didn't take the time to go and look up the gun, and I've and I've only been playing with. Uh, well, I've played with all the guns because I'm actually getting ready to get diamond. I'll probably get diamond tonight, but I haven't really paid much attention to the, the names of the guns. I, it's just it's how I am sometimes. Uh, so yeah. Now I went and threw a sight on it, and you don't need a sight on it. But I think I put the side on it in this game just so that I could get the, the, the different reticules for it. So it's up to you, personal preference. It's, it's an extremely good gun. Uh, one of the things I love about this gun is it has a ton of rounds. Now it, re it reloads pretty slow. Um, so to combat that, don't reload as often. You know, just don't reload as often. Go ahead and use your rounds. It starts you off with. I don't know 50 rounds or something like that and you know right now you can see I've got 400 rounds you know well I just lost it but I have 400 rounds I mean it has it, the capacity of the gun is crazy it's powerful it has a very steady rate of fire it has a it's it's just it's steady it's got good accuracy it's a extremely balanced weapon and I feel like um, because of the fact that you can customize your attachments you can you can pretty much be comfortable with it no matter what type of player you are so this is one of those guns I would uh, suggest that you guys try out if you're looking for a submachine gun alright so I've got a UAV sentry gun and stealth chopper on now the UAV is so beast in this game you get 10 points per kill and since we're dealing with point streaks that's essential because three kills doesn't get you a UAV anymore you gotta get four kills or 350 points now once you get the UAV and your teammates are doing work I mean every kills worth 10 so now 
you know, they get five kills for you. That's an additional 50 points to help you towards your next score streaks. So if you guys haven't been using the, the UAVs and the counter UAVs, you may want to consider doing that just because it's going to help you get to your next score streak. You know, and especially in game modes like Kill Confirmed, which before I leave, let me talk about Kill Confirmed. Kill Confirmed is an excellent game mode. Uh, they've pretty much killed Team Deathmatch. And the reason I say that is because it's so hard to earn your score streaks in that game mode, which makes it much harder to get those beastie high, you know, uh, KDs, those really exciting gameplays. I mean, I'll have some, some Team Deathmatch, don't get me wrong, but uh, the other game modes just seem to be more effective in, in uh, prestiging your, your player, you know, getting kills, uh, getting your score streaks, just more entertaining to play. So uh, they've done a, a thorough job of destroying that team deathmatch game mode for me but uh you know we'll still play and you know we'll, we'll maybe as the game progresses they might do some patches to help it out i don't know uh you guys have to excuse me my nose is stopped up anyway uav is great now uh and also one more thing about the uav is because the fact ghost has been altered uav is is, is more effective in this in this uh call of duty all right, now, uh, I also have the sentry gun. It kind of speaks for itself. The sentry gun in the past hasn't been as good. This one can't be knifed to death. You have to shoot it. It has a ton of rounds. It will shoot until it um, is destroyed, I believe. So it's a great kill streak. And then, of course, I've got the uh, uh, stealth chopper, which just does work. Place it in the middle of the map or in the enemy spawn or wherever you're trying to push them or over the objective and let it go to work. It's a great point streak. Um, let's see here, someone's texting me and I have my messages on my cellular device. This map is um, one of those maps where the spawns can flip really easy, so what you guys are going to do is pay attention to the spawns and uh, turn around. If you, if you see your team coming from one direction, turn around because the enemy's behind you. Um, one quick tip, you guys can duck those bouncing Bettys versus going completely prone. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe.